you often hear Japanese motorcycles have no soul, no character, while all the European bikes have all the soul and character. But is that really true? I'm fixing to tell you. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, Motovlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. I'm going to tell you this, guys. Out of all the motorcycles I've owned, and I've owned a lot of different ones, and I've owned European bikes. This bike has the most soul. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Tell you that guy. <laughs> yeah, baby. Telling you, this has got all the character and soul you could ever want in a motorcycle. And I've had, like I said, I've had the European bikes, Lita bikes, you know, Street Fighters, and some Japanese bikes. There is some truth to the statement that Japanese motorcycles have no soul. To be honest, you, you have to ask yourself, what is the soul of a motorcycle? What makes a motorcycle have character and soul? You know, and I'll tell you, in my opinion, what makes a motorcycle have great character and soul is a bike that you can feel the torque. You got great torque and it's got great feel and it sounds good. And when you rip on the throttle, it gives you that, that visceral feel <laughs> oh no oh my god you know it doesn't have to be the most powerful bike but it has to have that torque and grunt sound and feel like this bike <laughs> I'm telling you man and this obviously this is my 2019 YZ450 FX custom supermoto that I made street legal I put a 44 tooth sprocket on the back a set of supermoto wheels and some other mods to it and I'll tell you guys this obviously this doesn't have the top end of a liter bike in the super sports you know it does 105 miles per hour tops but it's got and it but this bike weighs 265 pounds and it has most of a lot of its power at the bottom that grunt where you want it out here on the streets it's going to bust some wheels you know what i'm saying and you and, and it has the feel it's raw this doesn't have any of the emissions crap that robs the power and feel and and the character of the bike in my opinion you know the reason why a lot of these newer bikes you know the, the japanese bikes have no soul and character like honda motorcycles which a lot of them are gutless and boring like this current cb 1000 r uh, where the torque doesn't really hit until about 6500 rpms and then it's still a linear power nothing exciting about this bike it's mainly because of emissions because every year they want to choke the bikes more and more to meet emission standards and they they refine the bike every year they refine the bikes more and more and they make the power more linear through the power curve so that kind of takes away some of the the bike's soul and character and also the sound you know it's always with they're trying to meet sound restriction requirements and all that like i said you take the sound you take that all the way and uh and, you, and your bike has no character you know? <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys the European bikes a lot of them do have character though I mean because I own a Ducati XD Avail and I will tell you guys stock not even putting on an after I didn't do anything to the bike really nothing and that bike had character all kinds of character and soul that you could ever want in a motorcycle it's, even the stock sound sounded good
Now that was on a 2016 bike that I had. Uh, I don't know about the newer ones. They may have put further restrictions and emissions requirements and it may be choked up more and uh, soundproofed more and everything. But that bike had a lot of character, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, in the Aprilia Tuono, I owned a 2017 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. And I will tell you that bike had stock. I didn't do anything to that bike. Stock, it had all kinds of character and soul on that bike. Oh, man. Amazing. Okay, and then you get to the Japanese bikes. Now I've owned a slew of them. I owned a, a CBR 600RR, a CBR 1000RR. You know, I owned a, a Yamaha MT-09, a Yamaha WR250R. A 2022 Yamaha MT-07, which I currently own. Of course, this bike, this YZ450FX, um, you can't even really include this YZ in with the other Japanese bikes that I mentioned that are street legal because this is a raw dirt bike with no emissions crap nothing this is straight raw pure motorcycle right here that's why this bike's got all the character feel and everything you can want in a motorcycle on this bike the other bikes in order to get some character and feel on those bikes and sound and everything of course you got to mod the heck out of them you know you got not the heck out of them but you got to put on an aftermarket exhaust you got to flash tune them uh, you know you gotta do some things. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You, gotta, you gotta you gotta mod them, you know, you gotta take the restrictions off the bike. But after you take the restrictions off the Japanese bikes and you put some sounds on them, of course, with, with the aftermarket exhaust, you know, it's got character and so you know say just as much as the uh the European bikes. Now the European bikes Oftentimes they put a bit more grunt down low like on the Ducatis and, and um, you know, and the BMW S1, the older S1000RR. From what I hear, the new S1000RR, it lacks some character because they made it fully refined and it doesn't have the torque at the bottom. It's more of a, a, a track bike now, you know. <laughs> yeah, baby, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just riding up in neighborhoods up here, <laughs> out here in the country. <laughs> like I said, even the European bikes, the new ones, are full, more refined. Uh, they, they lack soul and character just as much as the Japanese ones because they're all refined, you know. If you, if you look at the older Japanese bikes, you know, they, they're amazing. They had all they had great character and soul on the, the older Japanese bikes because they were less restricted. You know, they didn't have all the extra emissions crap. They breathed better. They 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 were more raw. They didn't have all these exit like I said restrictions and everything. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Busting all kinds of willies up in here. <laughs> Honestly, what it comes down to basically is that when you get your bike, whether it be Japanese, European, take all the emissions crap off on it, flash tune it, mod it, and you'll have plenty of character and soul for the bike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all. And if you really want a lot of character and soul on a bike, then you need to get you one of these bad boys right here and make you a custom street legal supermoto. And you'll enjoy the motorcycle as much as I'm enjoying mine, baby. <laughs> and your bike will have all kinds of character and soul. Yeah, you hear that, brat, 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 baby. <laughs> but anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Share your opinion on whether you think Japanese motorcycles lack soul and character or whatever, and European bikes have all the soul and character. Leave a comment with your experience. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, make sure to hit thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bugout Moto.